Welcome to Mort's Bunker. Welcome to Mort's Bunker. I'm Meredith Coloma, the lead guitar repair technician at Rufus Guitar Shop at Commercial Drive. And today we're going to be restringing and doing basic maintenance on an acoustic guitar. I'm going to take my string winder and unwind the string. Once I've loosened the strings, I can take some kind of pin remover and remove the strings from the bridge. I like to put them in a very organized fashion so I know exactly which string each pin was for. And then remove each string. Be very careful that you don't jab yourself on the edges of the unwound strings. They can be very sharp. Once we've removed the strings, we're going to check the condition of the fretboard. And this one has a little bit of oil and grime that's on the fretboard, especially in the first three frets that this person has played a lot on. So because there's some divots starting, we're going to start with scraping rather than just going with the steel wool. So I'm going to get flat Stanley razor blades and take the razor blade and lightly Scrape, removing any type of grime or finger dents, divots from the fretboard. Be very careful around the inlays if there are any on the fretboard. You don't want to make grooves surrounding them. So keep your razor blade exactly 90 degrees from the surface.
Once you've got those finger divots out, you're going to take your super fine steel wool and buff both the fretboard and the frets. So this steel wool is equivalent of 1500 grit sandpaper. It'll take any grime off the fretboard and it'll polish your frets. Once we've buffed out the frets and the fretboard, we're going to take some Ultimate Oil. This one's the Dunlop 65. It's a mixture of boiled linseed oil and lemon oil. We're going to pad this on every single fret. don't miss a spot. Once we've oiled the fretboard, we're going to wait about 30 seconds and then buff off the remainder of the oil. Now we're ready to string up the guitar. So take your set of strings. These are Phosphor Bronze EJ16s, which is 12 to 53s. We're going to start with the low strings. And remember that we had an order to which pin came from which spot. So I'm going to take my low E pin, put the ball end in, push the pin down into the bridge, and pull up on the string to lock it down. Take my A pin, same thing for every string. Push down and pull up with the string. Once these are set in and they're not going to pop out when you pull on them, we can start restringing the guitar. On an acoustic three on three, I like to take the string, measure one post over. So from our post, we're going to do one and that's where I'm going to kink the string in an L bend like this. I'm going to put the string through and do a Z bend. So kink both ways and twist them, and that's going to lock the string from being able to pull out. That's when I can chop off the excess so I don't poke myself in the eye. And then I'm going to take my power winder just because it speeds up the process, but you can also use a D'Addario string winder. I want three wraps underneath the first one.
and I can see with that distance of one pole post, I have one, two, and three winds. It's aesthetically pleasing to me. Again, from the post that your string is going through, we're gonna count one, kink the string, put it through the post, and do a Z or a Z bend. Clip off our string. And wind it up. So we can see that there's exactly the same winds from the A to, sorry, from the E to the A. It looks even. So from here, because there's no post forward, I'm going to move back, measure, kink. Time to tune it up. Put on a clip on tuner. fresh strings, I like to pull up on them like a bow and arrow, just create some tension and stretch them so that we can get a little bit more stabi stability. So I'm pulling up and then I'll tune to pitch again.
freshly strung up acoustic guitar. I'm Meredith Coloma at Rufus Guitar Shop. Please like and subscribe in the links below. Thank you so much.